Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here. It feels good to be back live after almost two years of Zoom. Today, we're going to talk about uh, Intel's Ponte Vecchio Compute Accelerator uh, GPU, how it fits into OAM and the GPU subsystems and systems that will take it to market. My name is Sarosh Hirani. I'm part of the product management team at the G data center GPU group at Intel. And I have with me here my colleague, Song, who is principal engineer and our uh, chief system hardware architect. Song, say hi. Thank you. OK, so what is Ponte Vecchio? Ponte Vecchio is Intel's GPU-based computer accelerator built to take on the most demanding workloads in HPC and AI training. It's an inter interesting construction, so I'll walk through this really quickly. We take multiple compute dial tiles, pair them with multiple Rambo tiles, and put them on top of what we call a base tile. So basically, it's a chiplet-based technology. We further take that base tile, which is a, a basic unit of GPU compute. We pair it up with multiple HBM stacks. And we also add in a XE link tile. Now, that whole construction we call as one stack or one silicon stack. It's basically an effective GPU. But we can also take one of these silicon stacks, pair it up with another silicon stack using Intel EMIP bridge technology, and build, uh, double the performance with a two-stack product, as kind of shown out here. So really, it's a real complex design, over 100 billion transistors, various pieces of silicon from different process nodes all coming together, uh, thanks to Intel's expertise in manufacturing process technology and packaging. Looks great. So what's the status? As we revealed a few months back at Architecture Day, we have A0 silicon currently in the lab, and it's exceeding 45 teraflops of single precision performance. Ponte Vecchio is also going to be the compute accelerator used when it's paired in the upcoming Aurora supercomputer, where it will be paired with our Sapphire Rapids CPU. The performance of the Aurora supercomputer is currently projected to be the, uh, a, at, two, at two petaflops. OK, now how do we take Ponte Vecchio to the market? We, we looked at a few options, and we had decided to productize Ponte Vecchio in two form factors. A double-wide PCI card, which is a broadly used, which is a broad, broadly used standard in the industry, as well as an open accelerator module. We saw many unique advantages of productizing an OEM, one of the most important being adoption by system vendors who no longer need to design custom silicon for each of their various, uh, for each of the various accelerators and GPUs coming to the market. In principle, they can design one system and then leverage it across multiple different GPUs, all designed in the OEM module. Our PVC OEM is going to be version 1.1 compliant and will support both air and liquid cooling solutions mounted on top of it. It will include high-speed SERDES links for our XC link fabric, which enables us to scale up to multiple coherent accelerators in a single compute node. So now that I've introduced XC link to you, we're going to walk through some, uh, some possible system combinations that we can do with XC link. So in the first picture on the left, you see two PVC GPUs connected together over XC link, a simple configuration. We can bump that up to four GPUs with XC link connected seamlessly. Again, uh, because of XC link, we don't need any other silicon pieces or uh, switches out here. This four GPU configuration is a popular uh, config for uh, HPC workloads. The one with six should look familiar because that's the building block for the Aurora supercomputer. And then for our most demanding workloads for large AI model training, we have a UBB-based solution with eight OEMs. I'll get to that in a second. We put four of these OEMs together in a half-width sled to build out a four GPU Intel-branded subsystem with high-speed XC links connecting to the OEMs routed on the underlying carrier baseboard. This GPU system allows our partners to bring their solutions to the market sooner, but without sacrificing their ability to customize and differentiate their systems to serve their target markets and customers. 
So speed, uh, quick time to market, but still the ability to customize. As shown, this subsystem is, can be used to implement uh, air or liquid cooling designs and either a dual socket host or a single socket host. The interface to the rest of the system is via four PCIe Gen 5 by 16 buses. Here we are showing some illustrations of how we can take Ponte Vecchio silicon and scale it up to build systems around it. As I mentioned earlier, we have a one silicon stack GPU. We can pair it up using EMIP technology and scale it to a two stack GPU design. We take that two stack, uh, stack GPU design and we put it down on the OEM, that's the picture on the left right here. Then we take four OEMs and put it up on our four GPU subsystem, as I mentioned earlier. This becomes a powerful vehicle to take this to the market in various different configurations. I'm showing one particular instantiation of this where it's a twin type server design, but instead of having two CPU nodes, we have an accelerated CPU node. So it's paired up with a dual, uh, dual socket Sapphire Rapids host. Now, this can be productized in a 1U as, as, with liquid cooling. With air cooling, you'll probably need a little more space, but we'll be, we are planning to support multiple different configurations. And the key point here is we have six high performance processor sockets all within a 1U, four PVC OEMs with a total of eight PVC stacks and multiple Xeon cores across the two sockets. Finally, in addition to the four PVC OEM subsystem, we are also developing an eight OEM GPU subsystem for the most intensive GPU workloads like training of large modern neural network models. For this solution, we have adopted UBB spec from the OCP OEM working group. Our eight GPU based OEM subsystem will also support both air and liquid cool designs. We are actually currently leading the UBB spec since we support PCIe 5, Gen 5 on PC, PVC as well as on our eight OEM board here. But we want to be plugged in and our vision for future GPUs is also to go down the path of OEM and the UBB and be in touch, be plugged into the spec as it evolves. As mentioned earlier, this common industry standard approach helps system vendors build a single platform with minimal customization to support various GPUs and accelerators. In fact, we have some of our customers who want to play around and benchmark different accelerators to see which suit their best needs for uh, TCO as well as performance. Doing this aligns with one of the goals of the OEM UBB initiative, to have a standard platform and then, uh, then use uh, uh, silicon from multiple different vendors. That's uh, what I had today, thank you very much. If you're interested, you can sign up, get involved. There's many different things you can do here. Uh, thank you for your time. <laughs>